the Church of Sweden has chosen that Jesus Christ was unbiased and any portrayals of him being a man are totally false. The Church has additionally requested that Pastor utilize sexually unbiased terms when alluding to God in a urgent endeavor to modernize Church administrations. Gospelherald.com reports, according to The Telegraph, the choice was made not long ago after an eight-day meeting of the congregation's 251-part basic leadership body. The choice will produce results on May 20 amid Pentecost, noticed the outlet. It is the most recent move by the National Evangelical Lutheran Church to modernize its 31-year-old handbook setting out how administrations ought to be led. The new rules urge clerics to open their administrations by alluding to the conventional father, child and Holy Ghost or the sexually unbiased expression for the sake of God and the Holy Trinity. We discuss Jesus Christ, however in a couple of spots we have transformed it to state God rather than He, Church of Sweden representative Sophia Pedersen Vidk revealed to the Telegraph, including that a wide lion's share of individuals chose the change. We have some supplication choices that are more sexually impartial than others. Leader of the Church of Sweden, Archbishop Ange Jacqueline, likewise protected the choice, revealing to Sweden's TT News office, philosophically, for example, we realize that God is past our sexual orientation conclusions, God is a human. In any case, Christer Palmud, a partner religious philosophy teacher at Lund University in Sweden, disclosed to Danish daily paper Kristelligt Dagblad that the choice was undermining the principle of the Trinity and the group with the other Christian houses of worship. It truly isn't shrewd if the Church of Sweden winds up noticeably known as a congregation that does not regard the basic philosophy legacy, he said. Prior this year, two of the best holiness schools in the United States, Vanderbilt and Duke, requested that staff utilize more comprehensive dialect when discussing God meaning teachers should now utilize sexually impartial terms while talking about him as to not insult under studies. Vanderbilt's Godliness Schools course index as states, the Vanderbilt Divinity School submits ceaselessly and expressly to incorporate sexual orientation as a broke-down class and to moderate sexism in the Divinity School's educational module. This incorporates reliable consideration regarding the utilization of comprehensive dialect particularly in connection to the divine. Thusly, the Duke rule said that solely gendered dialect can be destructive and exclusionary. Man is presently seen as what we call a selective utilization of dialect, that is, it is viewed as barring ladies, peruses the rules. Accordingly, we prescribe that you find different approaches to allude to mankind when all is said and done and utilize terms that are comprehensive. For instance, Rather than man and humankind, think about utilizing, people, individuals, people, everybody, men and ladies, offspring of God, and so on. In an opinion piece for Charisma News, Supervisor Jennifer LeClaire hammered God is sexually unbiased, calling it aggravating and confirmation of an influx of duplicity clearing through the congregation. She brings up that all through the Bible, God is portrayed as our Father, not our Mom, and Jesus the declaration of God on the earth, was a man, not a lady. She contends that the Bible is loaded with assorted terms for God, including the Alpha, the Branch, the Bridegroom, the Chief Shepherd, the Consolation of Israel, the Day Spring, the Bread of Life, the Desire of Nations, Emmanuel, the Faithful and True Witness, and unbiased terms aren't required. Don't imagine it any other way, God isn't a lady, Leclerc finishes up. He never has been and he never will be. This, however, is simply one more manifestation of a more noteworthy issue of depravity of the Word of God that will lead numerous off track and even into a great falling endlessly. I am per too new in this hour to be an admirer of reality, talk reality in adoration, and petition God for the congregation in this hour.